Now, this is a uh, island that at its widest level is what, 12 miles from shore to shore, and at its smallest level, uh, or smallest uh, uh, location, it's uh, seven miles uh, between one shore and the other. Is that correct? I don't have the exact uh, dimensions, but uh, to your point, sir, I think Guam is a small island. Very relatively. small island and about 24 miles, if I recall, long. So 20, 24 miles long, about 7 miles wide at the least widest uh, place on the island and about 20, about 12 miles wide uh, uh, on the widest part of the island. And um, I don't know how many square miles that, that is. Do you happen to know? I don't have that. Uh, figure with me, sir. I can certainly supply it to you if you'd like. Yeah, my, my fear is that uh, the whole island will uh, become so overly populated that it will tip over and, uh, and capsize. Uh, we don't anticipate that. The, uh, the Guam population, I think, currently about 175,000, and again, with 8,000 Marines and their families, it's an addition of about 25,000 uh, more uh, into the population. And, uh, and also, uh, things like the uh, environment, uh, the sensitive areas of uh, the environment, coral reefs and those kinds of things, and I know that you know, lots of people don't like to think about that, but, you know, we didn't think about global warming either. And um, now we do have to think about it. And so uh, I'm concerned from an environmental standpoint whether or not Guam is the, the, the best place to do this relocation, but it's actually the only place. Is that correct? Uh, this is the best place. This is the farthest west U.S. territory that we own. And, uh, you know, I, this is part of our nation. Uh, and in readdressing the forward presence and posture importance uh, to Pacific Command, uh, Guam is uh, vital to this decision.